After we visited the Church of the Nativity, or was it the Shepherd's Field? I can't remember which, or was it both? We ate at the Grotto restaurant in Palestine. There, I spotted beer on the bar and learned it was brewed in Tabeth, Palestine, and it was good. I decided then and there, before I went on to Jordan to see Petra and Jerash, I had to visit that brewery. Around 2,000 people live in Tabeth at an altitude just below 3,000 feet above sea level. According to Time magazine, in 2009, it is the last all-Christian community in the West Bank. Tabeth Brewing is a family-owned business established in 1994 following the Oslo Peace Agreement. The goal was to invest and boost the local economy by introducing new styles of natural handcrafted microbrewed beers according to German purity law with no preservatives or additives making an excellent Palestinian beer while creating a nationalistic feeling. Maydees, the daughter of the founder, the only female brewer in Palestine, showed me around the brewery. I was quite surprised to learn that Tabith has an Oktoberfest attended by people from all over the world. Someday I hope to make that festival. About a minute away is Tabith Winery, where Muthina told me all about how wine is made. The winery is located on the first floor of the lovely Tabith Golden Hotel. I'll put links to all of this in the description. All right, they must be brewing today. Spent grain. When did you start? 1994, right after the Oslo Accords. We were the first microbrewery in the Middle East, and now we do seven types of beer. We have a golden, which is probably what you uh, sampled in uh, Beit Zahud. It's our first type and best selling with 5% alcohol. We have a dark with 6% alcohol. We have an amber with 5.5%. We have a light with 3.8%. We have a non-alcohol with 0.0%. We have a Belgian style wheat beer called Taiba White, and that's made with local wheat, local spices, and local oranges, so that's 3.8% alcohol. And also we have an IPA with 6.6% alcohol. I like it. I haven't had your IPA. I'll give you a taste now to try it. Good. It's a very nice IPA made with American hops. Oh, yeah. because a lot of my friends, they're what we call hop kids. Yeah. The hop <laughs> Okay, so welcome to Taiba Winery in Taiba Ramanda. Um, our uh, wine, uh, our grapes comes from the local market, which means from the nearby villages like Abu, Jifna, Birzet, Hebron as well. I don't know if you're familiar with those names. Uh, during the harvest season, they bring them in big pallets. The harvest season is September, October. Uh, we have workers on both sides of this table. The good grapes go in the middle, the bad grapes get picked by the workers and goes in a different bin. Then, once it's picked, it goes into the belt over there. The second step is, if you can follow me down here, uh, because we're rearranging the stuff, it goes through this machine, which is supposed to be on this side. And uh, it's called the crusher. Everything here gets crushed you don't, together. You don't, you don't put it in the vat and stomp it with your feet? Uh, no, we don't do that anymore. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, during the old days. Old school. <laughs> yes, the old school. Now it's, everything is more modernized. So through the crusher, everything gets crushed with the skin and the seeds, and then it goes into the tanks over there. As you could see, there's a red wine over here. That's the red grapes. The white grapes is done differently. Once it's crushed, it goes into the separation machine, which is 
right here, and it gets separated, the skin and the seeds from the juice, only the juice that goes to the tanks. Now that's with the white wine you That's separate. the white wine. We the separate it right wine. away. The red wine, it goes to the tanks with everything until it's fermented, and Got then it. it goes to the separation machine. Got it. Got it, exactly. Then, once it's ready, it goes through the filtering machine, and I'm sorry about this mess here, because they were working very late last night. And then there's two ways to store our wine. The first one is through the bottling line over here. As you could see, it's the state of art of equipment. Wow, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bottles, they're nice and clean, but they get rinsed with the first machine. The second one is the filler. And then uh, the core goes on top. And the last machine is the labeler. The second way of storing our wine through reserving it in the reserving room over here. Please come on in. And you could smell too bad, but the camera cannot get the smell as well. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if they could have a camera that would... With the smell. <laughs> because it's, um, it gets aged in the French oak barrel for two years before it goes into the bottling line. All what we have here is Cabernet Reserved. See, I like beer. You can drink beer within six, no, four, yes. four weeks of brewing. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Much faster than wine. Wine takes patience. Yes, wine needs to be aged. And the more aged it is, the better it tastes. That's a lot of barrels of wine. That's a lot of barrels of wine. You're right about that. And if you go this way, I can continue about our our uh, label. I'll tell you the story about it. Please come on in. Okay. So you see, uh, you see the. Let me explain it here, it's better, maybe it's easier. You see the grape tree, it represents the Khuri family tree. The first branch is Nadim. Nadim in Arabic means your companion buddy, the person who sits with you in the bar and have a drink. Nadim is the master brewer who started the beer in 1994, just right after Oslo, and opened Taibe beer. And now, in three years, uh, after that, three years before, he had started the winery. And that's why the family thought that Nadim was born with a mission to make everybody happy making beer and making <laughs> wine. They asked him to name the first branch under his name. Ah. And that's why we have Nadim here. And the kinds we all, oh, this is, by the way, the cork that we use. And you could see it's the classical way of cork. Uh, no plastic, nothing, and um, that's the tree that the cork comes ah, out of, okay. and it's done by handmade by women. Actually, they spend days and days to do it. Wow. It gets exported, of course. We uh, we don't we don't have it here in Palestine. Um, okay, so the kinds of wine we have, as you could see, the black label is the one that's aged for two years, that's the reserved Cabernet. It stays in the tanks in the French oak barrels for a couple of years. And uh, then we have Syrah, uh, then we have Cabernet over there, and we have Merlot right here. And let me just show you what we have produced recently as a local grape, indigenous grape. Uh, it's called Bituni, and Bituni comes from Bitunia. It's a local grape that you don't find it anywhere. Uh, wine that made out of local grape 100% because all the grapes here are local but they're international lo uh, grown locally. The, the Bituni and Zaini, the white over there, uh, which turned out to be very, very successful. We ran out of even uh, the amount that we produced. So uh, Zaini comes from Hebron. Both of them are uh, wine that you will not find anywhere else except in Taibe Winery. Uh, um, and basically that's it. We, we export to different parts of the world. We recently ex um, reached the US. Now we're in Boston, Massachusetts. Come to San Antonio. Oh uh, yes, they should from there. <laughs> <laughs> and also we export to uh, Italy, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Spain. The, uh, Japan as well. That's awesome. And we've been having the Taibe Oktoberfest. I don't know if, uh, if they mentioned that yes. already to you. Uh -huh. So I don't have to tell you I'll a lot about that. I have to come back it. in October. Yes, please, you <laughs> should. Because so many people actually, they make their vacation around those two days. Uh -huh. It's a good weekend that people enjoy very much. Oktoberfest in Palestine. Yes. <laughs> yes, Palestinian different. style too. <laughs> you know, nice music, national dancing uh -huh. groups, and good wine and beer, mm -hmm. as well as local food. Thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure.